Good morning guys, Uber Jack here with yet again another video on the uh, Uber Driver vlog. So, a um, bit of a late to start this morning, not too late actually, it's 20 to 10. Um, did the school run, um, did a few errands and um, got like a couple of hours probably to work. Got to do a few more errands so we'll, we'll keep everyone updated. I just want to say thanks to everyone for um, their comments and things on the, the videos. It really... Um, really uh does it really is nice to read them and uh it keeps me going oh hang on a minute i forgot something that's better uh, um anyway it's uh you know the funny thing is it's been raining overnight and this morning and it's stopped now typically don't know if you can see out there um so that's funny because yesterday i was saying it hasn't rained and i checked the forecast it's raining apparently or showers over the weekend so tomorrow some of today, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So that should be fucking awesome news for um, how busy it gets. So I'm just gonna log in now, see if we can get some jobs. I'm just near the hospital. And um, hopefully we can have a busy day. Oops, turn that off. How does that go off? Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> right, catch you guys in a bit. So just done a little job there, um, but I just had a little thought. Like, it, it annoys me that hospitals, for example, um, there's nowhere for private hire drivers or Uber drivers to park and wait, you know? Um, plenty of room for the hackneys and stuff like that, but no room for us. I guess it's a sign of the times and hopefully things change in the future when you know, people realise, you know, Ubers and private hires way more popular than, than Hackneys because you just see them sat there for hours and hours and you think, God, and, and a lot of the time I'm just sort of like driving around looking for a space and then when you get, when you find some sort of space, which, you know, you shouldn't be parked in, you get moved along and um, it's just so annoying. Uh, but hopefully that'll be something in the future that, that changes. I'd like to see Uber Bays or something like that. That would be really cool. Um, and also at the hospital, there's no like, um, same with that train station actually, there's no like, uh, sort of, um, like there is at the airport, like a, like a waiting list, so you can tell which drivers arrive first, it's usually whoever's closest to the person ordering gets it, that's a bit of a ball ache as well, so everyone's trying to get as close as they can to where um, people would order, and like I say, you can't park there anyway, because uh, there's just nowhere to park, so um, that's a bit annoying, but um, I dropped my partner over the hospital basically, that's why I keep trying to sort of come back to here in case she's ready, but also if there's a job, go and get a job. So uh, we'll see if we get some more now. Now then, this is something cool I thought I'd show you guys. Android Auto, and uh, I've got YouTube up on the screen, particularly Uber Jack. Morning guys. There I am. It's Uber Jack again with uh, another video for you today. And it's, uh... So, I forgot about this. When I first got the uh, Ionic, before I was working in it, I was looking up uh, uh, Android Auto and if you could get YouTube, and uh, it turns out you can. It's a little bit temperamental, but um, I'll show you guys now how you can get YouTube on Android Auto if it's something you want to do, and if you know, you're bored, you want to watch some videos, or I don't know, maybe play some music videos in the car while you're, while you're driving around with passengers, could be pretty cool, whatever. Um, but I'll just show you guys what it is now. So if I just go to home. Okay, so we're still on home of YouTube. Let me just go back. So see this here, car stream. This is what you need to be downloading. Uh, but there's a specific app that you're going to need to get to do that. So I'll just show you that on my phone now. Just bear with me. Up here, um, you can see in the middle, A -A <coughs> sorry, AAAD. I think it's, I don't know what that stands for. Android Auto something something. Um, but um, oh, this guy behind me is trying to get in this space he's going to have to wait um, AAAD, if you just try, type it into Google AAAD Downloader um, the D actually does stand for Downloader um, sorry I'm trying to do two things at once here AAAD, download that um, you'll open this up then and it'll give you an option um, to download one of these things for free. Um, and I don't know too much about them, but I went with the top one, CarStream, which was that YouTube logo looking thing that you've seen there. 
um, and that will bring up YouTube um, for you to play on your on your your screen in your car while you're you're driving around or while you're waiting whatever I wouldn't recommend it while you're driving obviously you don't want any distractions but you know you guys are big enough you can do what you like um, but yeah it's pretty cool and um, as I say it's a little bit temperamental doesn't always work um, sometimes you need to like sort of unplug an Android Auto restart your phone things like that and it'll work so it's not the best to be honest with you but it is something you guys might find useful so I thought I'd just uh, include it in the uh, in the video couple of jobs um, it's 11 o'clock had a cancellation fee ended up cancelling on this person with this message that you can see that I had that I had with them literally I was at the pin main entrance they didn't know where the main entrance was trying to ask me to go to some other place always good rule of thumb just stick by the pin get the customer to come to you if you start going somewhere else you're not gonna get your timer and your cancellation fee if it ends up being a waste of time uh, but yeah, anyway, I just uh, pulled up at the vape shop. Just pulled up at the vape shop. This is Vape Nation e cigs on Woodville Road. Uh, see if they've got the vape that I want. Um, if you guys are here, ever in Cardiff, give it a shout. So, these are the vapes that I've just bought. Uh, this one here is amazing. This is uh, Aroma King, 7,000 puffs. These are all disposable, so you end up throwing them out after you finish. But... Um, this one, because it's so big, it does need a charge uh, occasionally. USB-C, so that's not a problem. I'm not sure if this one will need a charge. This one definitely... Uh, sorry, I don't know if this one will need a charge. This one definitely doesn't. That's basically for my missus. Um, this is what I'm trying. This is um, a gummy bear flavour. I basically wanted gummy bear in this. But it sells out so fast because it's so popular. So I've got pink lemonade, but this is for one of my mates who wanted to try it. Because this, this is basically the one that I've been using here. And it is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. But I'm going to try this one today. Um, and see how I get on with that. But uh, yeah, Vape Nation, Woodville Road in Cardiff. Probably one of the best vape shops there is. Give them a shout. Give them a go. So this is that new one that I've just uh, tried. It's called the uh, Elux legend pro three and a half thousand puffs the other one that i was showing you the aroma king that i've been using um this one's got seven thousand this one does also need a charge what's a bit annoying about this is it isn't usb c it's the um you know it's the standard uh connection thing here which i've got a lead for anyway i'm not sure what that button does but fuck me the flavor is awesome awesome um this one was 12 quid the um, Aroma Kings 15 and then the standard elf bars which you can get anywhere which I say as I say for is for the missus is uh, like a five or something like that so um, yeah I love them I really do the disposable vapes so much better than um, normal vapes for me anyways they're not cheaper they are going to be more expensive but it's just the convenience of not having to change a friggin um, not having to change the like put the juice in change the coil all these things that basically i was i was getting like issues with and then i'd go back to cigarettes because i couldn't be asking to the shop now just when this is finishing get over there get a new one yeah i love them all right guys gonna be getting back on it now it's about 12 o'clock remember what i was saying about uh the old white cars getting filthy this is like a, what two days give it another couple of days and it'll be fucking bogging let's look at the back yeah, look. You can see that. Never mind. Never buy a white one. Okay, guys, just a little bit of an update. It's um, 20 past two. Got to log out now. Got to do, do some more of these um, errands that I was talking about. Plus the school run. Uh, and then back out probably, maybe, it might be a bit later tonight, maybe about five. And then stay out a bit longer. Um, we're only on 43 bucks for the day. We've only drove 37 miles in total, and that includes errands, so that's pretty good. Um, so, um, hopefully, still looking to get like over 100 for the day if possible. Um, I don't think that's not possible, it just depends on uh, how tired I get because getting into this routine I'm in now of waking up early, uh, getting out early, out all day sleep fairly early i love it but um it just means as the day sorry as the day goes on 
um, I'll be getting tired. So, and with that in mind as well, I, I know there's a big weekend coming. Um, <clears throat> you'll see more about that in the uh, in the vlogs over the weekend. But um, so I'm not too worried if today we don't finish on 100 and we're short. We're already on 43, like I say, and later on we'll be doing at least two or three hours. So. <laughs> You know, and it's at a busy time, so it's highly possible that we'll still make a hundred today, which will be great, being as I had had errands to do and it wasn't just working. Um, definitely feel like we're getting out of January now, which we are on the calendar, but also in terms of um, how it's getting a bit busier. So, um, just going to uh, stop the recording here and uh, pick it back up again once uh, I'm back on the road. Okay, doke guys, I'm back on the road. It's uh, twenty to six. Bit later than I was planning, but uh, neither neither here nor there really. But I'm um, just gonna get back out now and try to um, try to earn some money. Hopefully, uh, get about sixty quid in here. Finish on a finish on a hundred. That'll be all right. We'll see though. If I start getting tired quick, then uh, that'll be a different matter altogether. But uh, we're gonna give it a good go. So uh, let's see what happens. Should have some hourly updates for you guys. The mileage is on. Um, 57 miles now done a bit of mileage basically uh with my errands but not all work related obviously so um see what that ends on and uh, how much we make and uh yeah that'll be that then okay boys just a little update from me it's um 20 past seven i think let me just change yeah 20 past seven and um 84 miles driven and um, we're on 76 bucks it's been pretty good since I come out. It was um, we were on forty six bucks. We made thirty pounds in uh, about an hour and forty minutes. So if we get a couple more jobs, uh, probably be able to like I say between eight and nine, something like that, and um, that'll be us. So uh, yeah, not going too bad at the moment. All right, lads, we're gonna wrap it up there. It's twenty past eight. Um, didn't quite hit the hundred pounds we wanted. We finished on ninety exactly. And we drove 96 miles, which wasn't just Uber. Obviously, that was um, that was uh, all all of my driving today, including all my um, errands that I had to run. But gonna end the vlog there. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. Um, tomorrow is the weekend. It's gonna be a good one. Um, I'll give you a little uh, sort of sneak preview about what that, that's gonna be. It's gonna be a perfect storm weekend. Um, I'll let you guys figure that one out, but I'll explain it more on the video tomorrow and over the weekend. Catch you guys then.